Need some help on what type of running shoes to buy? Let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to fit yourself for your own pair of running shoes. It's Michelle West here and welcome back to my channel where I create videos to help inform motivate and inspire you to get up move and live a healthier life if you're returning to my channel welcome back but if you're new to my channel and you love fitness focused content make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell so you know when I drop a new video so you're on a search for a new pair of running shoes but when you search online there are so many different types of shoes to choose from new Neutral, stability, motion control, <laughs> so many different shoes. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you an easy at-home test to help narrow your search for a new pair of running shoes. But before we get into the test, I wanna share with you three tips that you should know about running shoes. Tip number one, the absolute best way to get fitted for running shoes is to go to an actual running store. An associate at the store will probably run some tests and look at your feet to see what is the best shoe for your individual foot. Tip number two, the best time to replace your shoes is after three to six months of use or after 350 to 500 miles of running. Tip number three, Running shoes and tennis shoes are completely different. Running shoes are built for more forward movements, as in, you're running. I was running. Right? Whereas tennis shoes are built for more side to side lateral movements. Trust me on this one, guys. I was running in my tennis shoes before I got any running shoes, and when I finally invested in a pair of running shoes, I was like, so much better, you feel the difference. So I would advise if you're running 20 miles a week, I would even advise if you're running 15 miles a week, invest in a good pair of running shoes. It will change your life, okay? So without further ado, let's get into the test. Okay guys, so what you're gonna need for this test is a pan with some water, a piece of cardboard, a towel, and your foot. What you're gonna do is super simple. You're gonna take your foot, place it in the water. Make sure your foot is nice and wet, okay? Then you're gonna take your foot and put it onto the piece of cardboard. Stand all the way straight on the piece of cardboard, okay? Keep it there for about three seconds. Then take your foot and dry it off on the towel. Now that we have our wet foot picture, we want to compare it to the three pictures listed above to determine what arch type we have. If your foot looks similar to mine or like the picture above it, you have a neutral foot, which means you want to be looking for a neutral shoe. Neutral footed people have the most flexibility and can pretty much get away with wearing many different types of shoes. Now, if your foot looks more like the picture on the left, you have a flat foot. This means you don't have much of an arch and your foot tends to pronate inward. If you have a foot like this, you wanna be looking for stability and motion controlled shoes. These shoes are gonna help with support on the inside of your foot to help create a more neutral run. If you have a flat foot, I would also advise you to determine the gait type of your foot, which is the way that your feet strike and leave the ground while you're running. I won't get into this too much, but I'll leave an awesome article below that can help explain further on the exact type of shoes that you may need. Lastly, if your foot looks similar to the picture on the right, you have a high foot, which simply means you have a high arch. Runners with these type of feet tend to supinate and run and walk on the outside of their feet. I tend to do this too, even though I don't have a high arch. If you have this type of foot, consider buying a neutral shoe with extra cushion, aka greater stack height. This will help ease the pressure on the outside of the foot and help absorb impact while you run. Remember guys, every foot is a runner's foot and everyone has different feet. But a nice and correct pair of running shoes will help support you, refrain from injury, and will help you run longer and faster. A great online resource for purchasing running shoes would be runningwarehouse.com. Running Warehouse has tons of shoes that you can purchase. It has great filter options where you can select everything that you need for your specific type of shoe. You also should know that Runner's Warehouse has a 90 day no sweat return policy. And if you 
you know me, I don't buy anything online unless they have a good return policy. You have 90 days to return your shoes for a full refund. Also, you can try out your shoes too. Go running in them, and if they are not the right fit for you, you have 90 days to return those shoes for an exchange for another pair of shoes. So really, it's no sweat. <laughs> If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, leave it down in the comments and let me know what type of foot you have. I'm rocking with the Saucony shoes right now. Let me know what your favorite brand is. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.